Hi friends, in my previous PowerShell sessions, we have seen the introduction of PowerShell and also creating the resource manager as well as the storage. In this session, we are going to see how to create the VM using the PowerShell commands. Without further delay, let us get into our today's topic. So as we have seen in earlier commands, like we used new easy storage. Similarly, here we are going to use new easy vm and there are plenty of parameters if you have created vm virtual machine manually you must have seen lot of fields in five six tabs entirely for the network for location or the pricing tier whatnot like plenty of parameters like availability set subnets everything can be mentioned so those parameters all should be addressed for the vm that is the reason you are seeing a big list for the Azure VM creation, but I'll make it a short one for the first level of practice. But eventually, you can try all these parameters one after one. I connected my terminal via portal.azure. So let us just type our commands here. I'm going to create a new virtual machine, hence new AZ VM resource name. I already have a resource group name, so I'm just going to use that here. My VM RG is my resource group name. Make sure that you are using all these parameters in a single quotes. By mistake, I'm pressed enter. Let me just uh, start new easy VM resource group name. name of my VM here my VM PowerShell next location I'm just only taking the important parameters here not all the parameters so next I'm taking the virtual machine virtual network name just giving my vnet as a name of the virtual network next subnet name before that I see here there is a typo oh, let me just correct that first next subnet name hyphen sub net name my vm subnet I'm just giving the random name here next parameter is uh, security group I'm just only giving the names for virtual network, subnet, security, public address, all those stuff. So here I'm giving my VM network NSG. The next one is public IP address name. then open the ports which ports you want to open that you can mention here I want to open 80 and 3389 I'm not using quotes here just let us try this so there is an error you see that name uh, I missed hyphen here so small mistake but doesn't execute definitely you need to correct that so take the cursor there Try again. Looks like there is another issue. Security group name. There is one more typo. So let me just paste it again and correct the security. Let's try again. Now it's good. So it is asking for the credentials either you can feed it the credentials directly in your parameters or you can enter now so I'm just entering my username for this particular mission as issuer before me 
and password whatever you think of so i'm just entering so you see that progress is happening already it takes little time like maybe couple of minutes to create the vm and it took couple of minutes and uh, i had to close the browser for different reasons but however it is already created after couple of minutes i can show you under my all resources you can see my vm powershell is a new virtual machine and uh, network security group my ip the public ip is already created here so this is a vm we created right now uh, you can go further with the other details i'll also show you how to remove the same virtual machine but meanwhile in case if you want to try the various combinations i'm going to post this microsoft link here in the description you can try the various combos to create the subnets and and the various uh, parameters like you can see the syntax which i have shown on the ppt here it is given the create virtual machine create virtual machine from a custom a user image so all those uh, type of combos you can try these are the real time scenarios what you have to create so let us jump into the removal part so as i mentioned earlier removal always starts with the remove remove az vm resource group name so i missed the hyphen this is a usual mistake we make resource group name and if you know the resource group you can just enter you can see it on my screen as well that which i have created earlier my vm rg and then the vm name my vm name is my vm powershell let's try so it's asking whether you want to remove it we simply say yes it will take little time meanwhile i'll pause the video after a minute uh, i see it says succeeded let me just refresh my page uh, you can see my power shell virtual machine still there so i'm going to refresh it here as it is uh, succeeded the removal is succeeded refresh it so i don't see that my virtual machine anymore so this is how you can create and uh, remove as i mentioned earlier you can play with a lot of combinations here from the microsoft link i will just paste it in the description thanks for watching my videos